Now, one thing we've all been doing, I can tell you I've been doing a lot, uh, is, and thanks to coronavirus, of course, and lockdowns, we've been shopping online like mad. And whatever you're buying, you'd think it was right good news for the companies that make those brown boxes that are landing on our doorsteps with increasing regularity. But it's not quite as simple as that. So let's find out why and join Tony Smurfett. He's the big boss. He's the chief executive of Europe's biggest paper and packaging manufacturer. It's Ireland's Smurfett Kappa. Tony, an absolute pleasure having you with us, my friend. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, something I ask my lockdown leaders every week is this. I'm going to ask it right now, just briefly. What were the challenges, my friend? What were the challenges of running a truly global company um, during lockdown? And was there anything secretly that you loved about it? Uh, the first, hi Aaron, the first challenge was uh, to learn how to use all these kind of new technologies. So I suppose uh, all of us uh, who are a bit techno, technophobes have, have to become experts in this L area. So that's the first challenge. <clears throat> what, what we did actually in running the company is we got up to speed real quick on, on Zoom calls and uh, I was running a lot and uh, I got to know my dog very well and she got to know me uh, and I think she loves me more than anything. So so I think that, that was this kind of a, that was the secret of the, the lockdown for me. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, because I was reading I was reading uh, some of the research. I think you were, you were traveling something like 250 days a year. And I can tell you as an aviation geek myself, um, I miss flying very much. But listen, let me ask you this. Um, how has the increase in online orders helped your business? And I'm just wondering, was there ever a, a concern at the, the initial phase of all of this that you actually may run out of boxes? Uh, no. The biggest challenge for us has been to make sure that our, our people were safe, Aaron, and to make sure that they worked in a safe environment. And that was the, the concern that we would have had early on when nobody knew what was actually happening, was that, that um, we were going to be able to staff our factories, which meant that uh, we would get our, be able to get our boxes to the, to the customer. I mean, one of the things that gives me huge satisfaction, honestly, Aaron, is that we did a survey in May to all of our employees, 46,000 of them, of which 20,000 answered, uh, and said that, you know, how did we do? And 95% of them said that we, not just me, myself, but everybody in the senior management group, 95% uh, of them said we looked after them, we kept them safe, we looked after their welfare, we made sure they were communicated with, and that, allowed, that has allowed us to supply all of our customers very well. And, you know, one of the things that really came out of this, and you said at the start, you know, you wouldn't get any boxes, with, you wouldn't get any online um, shopping if you didn't have boxes, but you actually wouldn't get any food either mm. uh, if you didn't have boxes. So, you know, we've been deemed an essential uh, product in the world, uh, for, for, by all governments across the world, and that's what kept us open and that's allowed us to continue to deliver. Okay and deliver successfully to our customers. Yeah, yeah, recently you announced profits. Your profits were actually down some 13%, but you described it as a, another sort of bumper, bumper year kind of thing, I mean, or well, strong, <clears throat> strong performance. Why is that? Because I suppose we were heading into a down year anyway, Aaron, because paper prices have been moving down last year, uh, and that sort of translated into this year. So we already knew that we were going to have a down year, and that was forecast by everybody. But it's still the second best uh, first half in our history. Uh, and, uh, and I think that shows the, the, the resilience of the business model that we have and the, the asset base that we have. I mean, well, as you said earlier on, we operate in 35 countries uh, with 46,000 people and each country has its own different dynamic. But overall, pulling it all together, we still came through with the second best year in our history. Are you, um, can I ask you this, since the topic, uh, the, you know, the subject in all our lives at the moment is COVID-19, are you innovating um, or coming up, can, is it, even if it's possible, coming up with a, with a product that may be um, resistant to, to the virus? Uh, I, I, I don't, I, I mean, you know, we're essentially corrugated box makers. So we've, we've obviously have products that help in the whole uh, protection of the virus, such as the dividers. I mean, you see plastic dividers, you can equally do the same with corrugated dividers. Um, you know, so, so we don't really have a product that is, is actually working to, to alleviate the virus per se, but we are actually co contributing to, to some uh, uh, medical research to help find, find uh, cures or maybe not cures, but maybe uh, treatments for the virus through UCD, UCD Dublin, which is uh, the, the one of the largest universities in Ireland mm. uh, with, the, with the head of infectious diseases there. So we're trying our bit to try and help uh, find cures. I just I listened to the previous uh, speakers there uh, and companies like ourselves are really trying our best to, to help 
this whole pandemic situation. Okay, I'm um, just very briefly, can I ask you this just about logistics? I mean, you know, you're, as we said, you're global, but you're certainly huge in Europe from Spain to Sweden. Um, did you have difficulties or are you seeing in moving all your stuff around, so to speak, in terms of the logistic chain? <clears throat> No, because, you know, if you look at a corrugated box and you can see one, what one looks like behind me, you know, it doesn't ship very far. So in other words, you know, the maximum distance really of a corrugated box is around 200 to 300 kilometers. Uh, and so therefore you, your customers tend to be local. Uh, and so logistically, we've had some issues to make sure that we had the paper on time, make sure that we were able to uh, have the right safety within the warehouses for people and to make sure that things were okay. working well for, for people to be safe. But that was really the only logistical problem. We okay. were able to get a, a product to the customer pretty easily. T sorry, we're out of time. Tony, I can talk more. Really appreciate your time, Tony. Anytime you want, Darren. <laughs> Take care. Look after yourself. You stay bye safe bye. and well, my friend. And thank you. Tony Smurfett from Smurfett Kappa Group there joining us.